Here's a quick introduction into how to set and use an analog chess clock. There are two types right here. For now, I'd like to focus on my favorite clock in the analog category, which is the classic chess clock. Right now, it is set for 30 minutes per player. The basic operation of a chess clock, of course, is when a player makes a move, they press their side of the clock, starting the opponent's clock. When the opponent makes their move, they press their side of the clock, starting the opposing player's side. And that's as easy as it is. To stop the times, you level the two, and it's paused. Now, some of the settings that you should be aware of are the 30-minute game, which is set at 5.30 per side, the 15-minute game, which would be set at 5.45 per side, using the setting knob on the back, as such, and the 5-minute blitz game, which is set at 5.55. As you can see, that's a very short game. And when that flag rises, it gets very close to falling. When it does fall, that time is, said, is expired and the flag is fallen. If you hear the terminology that someone's flag fell, that's what it's referring to. As you can see, there's only a few seconds remaining. And in this case, the black side time has run out and white would have won, provided the game wasn't already finished on the board. There's a few facts right there. Obviously, you can see it's running. You can hear it's running. The analog timer is loved to this day, despite the uh, dominance of digital clocks. And the reason digitals are popular is they are more accurate and have a, a wider variety of setting options. Now, on the back of the clock, it should be wound each side. Don't overwind. It's counterclockwise. These are set just fine. And then there's the two setting knobs. That's the simple operation of this clock. If you were to uh, set this clock on a regular basis, it's best to always turn it clockwise to keep your uh, timer in working in good condition. Also, if you were going to play a two-hour game, you would see this start at, at 4 o'clock right here on both sides. I find the classic analog clocks to be the best. I have played with many different clocks, and what's available now on the market for comparatively low price, it's not low by any means in comparison to the CGL, and we'll talk about that in a moment, but an affordable price and the durability, I like this clock and its operation. It's very compact and easy to set, and excellent for beginners or someone that doesn't want to deal with a digital clock. So there you have it. The basic operation is you make a move, you press your side of the clock with the same hand you made your move. It starts your opponent's time. If your opponent runs out of time, you claim, you indicate your flag has fallen, and you claim a win, provided he hasn't won on the chessboard a moment earlier. Now let's compare these two clocks because they look very similar. Frankly, this comes out of Europe and will last you a long time. This one comes out of China and might not last you a long time. Therefore, these work well for in bulk usage uh, with clubs because invariably one out of 20 will fail fairly, well, not soon, but it, it will happen. So it's just um, a matter of time. And uh, they, they work well and they're very cheap, about one third of the cost of one of these. If you want this for individual use, personal use, and you want something that'll last, let's say, five, 10 years, obviously this is a better investment and cheaper in the long run. So there's a comparison of these two clocks, the analog classic chess clock versus the CGL chess clock. Again, good for clubs and, and uh, schools, and this is good for personal use, generally speaking. And the board you see right here, the chess board, is my personal chess board and pieces, and I've had this for many, many years. It's the club special set, which has a slightly yellow or sandy yellow appearance, and uh, just is durable. There's been some... Um, more recent mimics of this set, but this is the original USCF version. Hardly anybody sells it anymore, but uh, I plan to keep offering it because it just, it's unbreakable. And, uh, and then if you ever lose pieces and need replacement pieces, we'll have those and just request those. I really stand behind this set because it's very inexpensive 
and with this U.S. made vinyl board, it's the perfect combination. So enjoy your chess, and, um, and now, you have, now you understand how a chess clock works, such as this, and how to use it, the basic operation.